everyone, it's Carissa with Sprinkled with Glitter, and I am here with a project for you today. It's kind of a card project, but it's kind of not. I designed it to hold this Baskin Robbins gift certificate, and so it's going to be a little bit different shape, and it's, you know, not your traditional card. So we can get started, and I want to start by showing you um, this piece right here, which is my base. So this base is actually the book option from Elegant Edges. And what I did was I used my Gypsy to manipulate like the um, proportions of it and stuff. So my final measurements for it were eight and a quarter wide. So that was this way by eight inches high. And then I scored it at one and a quarter and four and three quarters inches. And what I did was I just had to kind of play around with it and see what would fit best. So that's how that's going to be designed. But in order to seal this up, uh, I think what I'll first do is use, sorry about that, is use some score tape along the edges of this. And I love score tape because it's nice and strong, but you can still tear it. So we'll put it there, and I'm just doing it right along the edge. Now what I've also done is I have taken this same shape, and I made it just a little bit smaller, and I cut it in this pattern paper. Now if you don't have a gypsy and you cannot manipulate the proportions of this, what I would suggest doing is cutting this shape, this book shape again in a really large size, and then just using the edge of it and cutting it off and folding it over and putting it over a square. So hopefully that made sense. So you could still have the shaped edge. You would just have to lay it over a square piece and make sure that this hung over. So anyway, I hope that made sense to you. What I'm going to do is, like I said, I cut this a little bit smaller size. And that way I can just put it on here like that and layer it up. Okay, so now that is on there. This paper, by the way, is by Echo Park. It's from the Life is Good collection. And I have um, this piece, which was just, you know, when this was laid out flat, this was just another piece off of here. So I just cut it down, and what I thought I would do is go ahead and put it along the bottom of this, where my lip is. And I'm going to use this kind of shut, closed, I guess would be the right term to kind of make sure that my stripes match up. It's kind of tricky when it's open a little bit. And so what I have here is a piece of um, very vanilla cardstock, and I am using the Yummy Licious stamp set from My Pink Stamper Stamps, and you can check out all of her stuff at her website. It's mypinkstamper.com. But what I'm going to do is take this, and it says something yummy for your tummy, and I'm going to stamp it right on this strip of cream or very vanilla cardstock. And I'm just going to kind of do it right about there. And I'm not quite sure exactly how long I'm going to make this yet. So I just made the strip, and then I figured I would cut it down to wherever I want, if I want it to in here or there or whatever. And then I have this paper here. This is from my mind's eye and it's from the um, Lime Twist collection. And I am, because it was a six by six pad, I didn't have enough to go across the entire length of the card. So what I thought I would do is cut two pieces and go ahead and punch the border on both pieces and then I could just um, put it on behind my image and kind of hide the seam. Okay, so I went ahead and punched those, and I'm going to kind of wait to put those on until I assemble my, my ice cream here. This is from the Sweet Shop collection, or the Sweet Shop Cricut cartridge, Cricut Light cartridge, and it is cut at three and a quarter inches, and it's a little ice cream sundae, so I'm going to start piecing these. Okay, so I just ran that through, and now my ice cream has a little bit of texture to it. And I'm going to use just this little adhesive runner here 
put this, you know what, maybe I want to do dimensionals. Yeah, let's do dimensionals. So I'm going to put my bowl on. Okay. And I think I have decided that I want the sprinkles. Let's see. Maybe I want them this color. No, I'm going to do them with the cream sprinkles. And then that's on there. And I have my little cherry to go on top. I have a little piece of dimensional here that I can cut down. Make sure I have it the right way. I apologize if you're hearing background noise. There's a lot going on in my house tonight. Okay, so there is my little ice cream, and that is going to go on here just like that. So what I can start doing is kind of putting this together the way I want. And what I think I've decided is that I am going to have this edge flesh with this edge over here, and I think I will make this like a banner shaped edge over here. So I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the end. And I just cut in like that. And then what I can do is kind of plan my seam where my ice cream is going to be. So I'm just going to cut, I'm just going to eyeball it and go right about there. So now that I've put that on there, I can just adhere this whole thing down. Okay, so I have some twine here, and it is from the twinery. Now that I have that down, and I think I'm going to just wrap this around just a couple of times and tie it in a simple bow. Okay, and so what I can do now that I got that all situated, I kind of had to fuss with it a little bit, but the nice thing about twine is it's really forgiving. So I'm going to go ahead and put my ice cream sundae on here. Put it down just a little. And then my final step is just going to be to add a little bit of stickles to this cherry right here. So here is my finished project. It's got a little bit of sparkle on the cherry and an adorable stamp from the Yummy Licious stamp set from my pink stamper. Holds my little gift certificate. You could play with the sizes and make this fit for uh, cash or check or however, whatever you have. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, go ahead and head on over to my blog. I'm going to have a giveaway. And if you are hopping along for the My Pink Stamper Pinkalicious blog hop on the uh, second Friday of the month, go ahead and keep hopping along. And thanks for visiting. Have a wonderful day.